have no limits! Whoever my opponent, their might is nothing compared to mine! I will crush them! What up, what is going on guys? Yo, 2K20 is here guys, it is here. And I'm gonna be breaking down everything that you should not do when you make your my player. I don't want y'all to wish out VC, you know what I'm saying? I know VC costs money, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're in school or whatever the case is, you do not want to waste VC. When you switch from point guard to shooting guard, the attributes in the numbers on the left side do change. So I definitely want to show you this. So let's get straight into it. First off, we got a point guard, right? I'm going to press continue. Now, we have the pipe chart on the right side. I am going to move my camera, but I, I want you guys to focus on the left side. You know what I'm saying? We got the finishing. Now, this first one on the right side, the pie, uh, pie chart, is pretty much a pure slasher, right? But what I want to show you guys is just something right here you see the ball control is at 86 right you look at playmaking the yellow and a, and, a, and the post moves is an 83 it's an 86 right now if i go back and i switch it to a point to a shooting goal, i didn't touch height i didn't touch weight i didn't do none of that if i go there i go back look at my ball handling now now my ball handling is an 83 when it was just an 86 and now my post moves is higher so it tells you what is the highest thing that you have in every category which is why post moves is now highlighted then if you look to shooting it's an 85 which is post fade now if i go back and let's say now i make him a small forward and i press continue now um you know what i'm saying look at the post was a 90 now the ball handling is a 73 now you need to have an 86 ball control in order to speed boost and somebody was asking me like wait is this speed with the ball it's all combined into ball handling so ball handling has to be an 86 or above to get those elite speed boost dribble moves now we all know they they broke broke it up into four categories blue is going to be for finishing green is going to be for shooting playmaker is going to be yellow and defensive and rebound is going to be red so depending on you got to decide what you want what do i want to do in 2k20 i want to be i want to be an elite dunker so you know you're going to go a lot of blue maybe a little bit of blue but if you come all the way down here you see there's different pie charts that have only a little bit of blue so i suggest picking your position point guard shooting guard then after that ask yourself what do you want to do out of these four categories you know you say to yourself you know what i want to i want to be good at finishing and i also want to be good at shooting so pretty much you want to be a shot curated slasher so you'll come down to the pie chart and look at exactly where it's at and me honestly i feel like it's the second one but you see a lot of blue and you see green a little bit of uh, playmaking and a little bit of defensive so that right there will be a shot curating slasher so i just want you guys to look at these little stuff i know it's common sense but we might have new casual players that are new to 2k so i'm just trying to help you guys as much as i can definitely going to be for play sharp so you got to ask yourself what you want to do so we're going to use this as an example right then we have a new pie chart then you know what i'm saying the blue is strength if you are not making a slasher or a defensive build you really do not need blue if you're going to be a play sharp your player does not have to be strong because one you're not going to be driving you're not going to be getting rebound you are an offensive build your team needs you to shoot that ball so you really don't need strength so it all depends on your build now this build right here is more of a pure you know shot curator sharpshooter so i know that i don't need strength so i'm gonna look for the one that has the purple the most and the least blue you know i think it's this one right here which is a 77 nope i'm wrong this way the first one has a lot of purple and less blue actually this one looks 77 80 52 75 vertical okay so this one's a little bit of vertical right here i, I kind of see it. i kind of see it the purple is a little mixed there's two different uh shades of purple but you know what i'm saying this build is, is going to be a shooter, so I want him to be fast. I don't care about vertical because he's not going to be getting rebounds or dunking the ball. So you want to go with the first one, which is the most speed. Now, we all know speed kills in this game. But if you look at if you look at my shooting badge, I have 17 shooting badges, right? And let's say you don't really necessarily want to touch post fade, but look what happens when you do. It goes from 17 badges 
to 27 badges. That is insane. It's more shooting badges, and trust me, they're beneficial to shoot in it. They're not just like postman or big man moves. They're actually shooting badges. So you kind of got to put post fade up if you're going to be a shooter. You know what I'm saying? What's next? Like I said, this isn't a slasher, isn't a defensive build. This is an offensive, you know, grab the ball, shoot that ball. So I got to I gotta bring up uh, pass accuracy, ball handling. We want to bring ball handling. Now it's a 75. Speed boost and takes an 86. So keep that in mind. But like I said, this is more, more of a pure shooter. If you wanted a play sharp, you choose the pie that was underneath the one I chose. You know what I'm saying? Now defense, you know what? We're going to do clout, uh close shot driving layup you know just in case we get a fast driving dunk standing dunk you know what i'm saying that that's more if you're less underneath the rim and you go back up so i'm gonna leave that one right there now defense i'm not gonna upgrade rebound do not upgrade rebounding if you're a 6364 guard this is 2k20 you're allowed to to touch the attributes you want it makes no sense for a 6'3 guard 6'4 guard to to bring his rebound all the way bro you're not even supposed to be in there your, your center is supposed to grab that ball and give it to you. If you're down there with your center, how's he going to pass it to you if you're right next to him? It makes no sense. It's I want this player to be fast. He's a he's a primary shooter, so I, my playmaking is not the best. So as I go up, you see it going down. So seven, from 75 past 6'6 six, six is a 71. 6'5 is the critical hit in 2K20. Anything after 6'5, you take a big hit on your player doesn't matter if you're making a slasher i've seen slashers go from from six three right and everything looks good you want to go up past that you want to make a six six bro you take the biggest hit ever like six five is the cutting point in 2k20 if you're an outside build your weight does not have to be heavy because you're not going to be going in traffic you're not going to be crashing the boards because that's not your job you're a shooter your center is the one who's going to be crashing boards who's going to be trying to get the rebound now if you go press the weight you know what I'm saying you get more defense but then if we look at it the strength the strength um the strength goes up to a 55 what is what is what is a 55 like that's really nothing you know what I'm saying then we go back down to the lowest weight you know what I'm saying? You see the acceleration went up. The vertical went up. Now, the speed, the speed didn't change. So, you kind of want to balance where you want it, where you want your player. Now, I know if I can't get more speed, let me get a little bit of acceleration. Now, the highest is 84, making 175, which is the lowest weight. In any of the past two Ks, play sharps, dribblers, they always go the smallest weight because they want to be as fast as possible. Now, if you go with a longer wingspan, it allows you to play better defense. You know what I'm saying? But you take a hit on your shot. Now my shot is a mid-range 90, three points to 92. Now if you go T-Rex arms, which is what I did in 19, I had a pure shot curator, and I was shooting like a sharpshooter because I had T-Rex arms. Now everything stays 95, 95. But as you aim, my ball handling is also a 79. But if I go up one, I don't really lose nothing. Nothing really changes. So why go to smallest? The only thing that changes was the steal. Now, me. You know what I'm saying? This is a this is a shooter. So they give me the option to become a spot of shooter, which is basically a sharp or shot curator. So when you're choosing your takeover, when you're choosing your takeover, choose what benefits your build the most. If not, this is one of the worst mistakes you can ever make when making your build. Now, it lets you set your ratings for testing, which is cool because then you get to see, you know what? I unlock um speed boosting at this or blah 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 i'm seeing a lot of people go all the way to a 99 and thinking their player is going to be like that listen i'm not saying that you can't make it i'm just being realistic if you don't have the time or whatever the case is do not look at exactly what your player could be at a 99 because what if you don't hit 99 you have to keep in mind who you're running with when curating your player hop in the party tell your boys yo listen if i make a, a play a shot curator then i need somebody to make a center because all your boys can't be guards you might catch a couple of doves but you, your win loss ratio is gonna be you know what i'm saying you're gonna be able to tell the difference so you need to know who you're running with right here i don't know if you guys can see this looking forward to hearing everyone's feedback to help us put the finishing touches on nba 2k20 happy demo day somebody tweeted who is this guy he even got 29 likes
Blow blies are out of hand. Mike patch needed ASAP. How you gonna patch it? The game ain't even dropped. Yeah, they were fixed after the demo build was cut. Very different in final version. Throughout overall, I thought the demo was pretty good. Um, just keep all these things in mind, man. I'm gonna be making new videos. I'm gonna be making best uh bill video so keep that in mind stay blessed it's your boy jers you already know the vibes i'm gonna catch you on the next video and i'm out yeah